what is up you guys so this is gonna be another tutorial and this is gonna be a tutorial on how to do this glitch effect in the title it might say this was inspired by Matt Como and that is true this is inspired this is not exactly how his uh, glitch looks like um so yeah just know that it's not the same at all and I know that okay so let's get started with the tutorial so I have two clips right here um, and so I'm going to want to do the glitch effect to transition into the second clip. So, so what we're going to do is we're going to go to where we want the glitch effect to start. So I'm just going to start it right here. And then I'm going to click Command Shift D to split the clip. Now we want to go to Effects and Presets and then search up Set Channels. And double click and that's on our clip now. And then we're going to duplicate that twice so for the top clip we're gonna go to where it says green and then turn it off and then go to where it says blue and turn it off as well so all we have is the red clip now we want to go to the second clip and then we're going to turn off red for that one but keep green on and then turn off blue and then for the last one we're going to turn off green and then turn off red so you could tell that the top clip has red the second clip has green and the third clip has blue with everything else turned off. But you can only see the red clip for now. So now we want to set those three clips to screen. And now we see that nothing has happened. But if we go to scale and adjust the scale, we can actually see some of the effect going on. You can set the scale to whatever you like. You just want to make sure that you kind of see all the um, colors. Now you just want to select all the clips and then press P for position. From the beginning of the three clips, we want to press the keyframe button. And it will make a keyframe. I'm just going to zoom in a bit and then... We can go a couple frames to the right and then move the clip however we want. Um, so you just want to move it in a random, randomly just sh shake it a bit. So that's what I'm doing right here. Every couple frames I'm just moving the clip to however I like. And this is going to be how the glitch is going to move. And then at the very end you want to just make it disappear. So I'm just going to... Move, drag the clip all the way down to the right corner and that will make it disappear. So if we now want to go to our bottom clip, which is the clip that we're transitioning into, which is this waterfall, I'm just going to drag it all the way to the left so that it is under the um, moving clip because we don't want to, because we want to be able to see the new layer instead of just a black background. What you also want to do is you want to check the boxes with the three um, circles, which is motion blurring. And later on, we'll click on the other motion blur button so that we turn it on. But for now, I'm just going to keep those two on. Now what we can do is we could just play around with the scale a bit. So I just press S for each um, layer. And I changed my red channel to be 113. And then my blue channel, which I actually moved to the center layer, um, is now 104. And then the third one, is, which is my green channel, is 221. So now you can see a lot of the green, um, a bit of the blue, and some pink. Okay, so here my, uh, my green layer is lagging. It's not leaving, so I'm just going to press P to adjust the position. And then I'm just going to drag it all the way to the corner. And I'm going to adjust the keyframe so that it moves all the way down. Okay, so now you can see this like rainbowy bright glitch. Okay, so earlier I turned on motion blurring for the clips, but I didn't actually um, press motion blur to be able to actually see it. So that it applies the effect but now that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna apply the motion blur and if we watch it back we can see um, it's like blurry so you can't see the edges of the glitch and I think it looks pretty cool I'm just gonna close all these drop downs now what I also want to do is for that bottom layer I'm going to 
I'm gonna command shift D and split the clip before the um, whole glitch ends and then I'm going to add an expression for the position so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna press P to drop down the position again and then I'm gonna have my mouse click on the position and then I'm gonna go to animation and then set expression so now this is what pops up so now what we're gonna write in this is wiggle and then parentheses 300 comma 20 parentheses again and what this is gonna do is, is sh it's just gonna shake the clip so if you look closely you can see that my bottom layer um, wiggles it shakes the clip now let's press the S button so we have the drop down of the scale and what we want to do is we want to change the scale to 119 actually let's go to 110 and I'm just gonna adjust the clips. So now we want to put the motion blur button on for this clip as well. And we can also check the box next to it. Um, and it'll do this cool contrast. And we can drag our last clip a little bit forward so we don't see as much of that wiggle of the first, um, first part of the clip. So yeah, we can look through this and we can see that it glitches very nicely. And now if we add this glitch sound effect, it makes the video like 10 times cooler because <laughs> like sound effects are everything, right? So yeah, that's the tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. I know it's kind of scrambly, but it's honestly you just playing around with the scale and the colors of it. Um, yeah, you can make so many different colors out of this glitch. You could have made it like a blue color or more of a pink color. I just made it more of a green color. Um, depending on what which clip you which layer you wanted to scale up more I scaled up the green one So anyways, you can just play around with these effects um, I just wanted to show you something that you can implement into your videos. I think it's pretty cool um, So yeah play around with it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did Subscribe for more videos, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye